price of freedom, we told you about Desert Storm veteran Jeff McDonald. Tonight, we have more of him. Now, the hardest part for Jeff didn't happen when he was in a war zone. It happened about 20 years later when his son Chris returned home from one. Josh Rowe joins us now with that story. Josh. Kim Calvin, the epidemic of veteran suicides continues to grow. We hear the number 22 in reports often these days. According to a VA study, 22 veterans commit suicide every day. One is way too many. Tonight, Marine Corps veteran Jeff McDonald tells us about his son, Chris. Jeff McDonald says he never really pushed the military life on his son, Chris. End of his sophomore year, he came up and he said, uh, he said, Dad, I think I want to join the Marine Corps. Lance Corporal Scrumo here with Corporal McDonald. Chris joined the reserves and was deployed to Iraq with Mike Battery. This is video of Chris during his deployment. One, two, three, go. Jeff says his son excelled at everything he did. School, sports, and was promoted quickly in the Marine Corps. But he says Chris had changed when he came back. He says growing up, Chris loved to make people laugh. 108. That was gone. When he came back, it was gone. He was real recluse, real um, never did laugh much, cut up much. He says he knew his son was struggling. He started loosening up and he started telling me about what went on over there. And um, so the first thing that got him was uh, they were at a checkpoint and they were work manning this checkpoint. And then this van pulls up, <clears throat> lady gets out, she's got a baby in her arm, she walks around to the other side, opens up the door, grabs two more kids out of there, walks right up to the checkpoint, reaches in, pulls the cord, blows her and her kids up right there in front of him. And there were other just horrific memories that he just could not get out of his head. He said, you know, Dad, there's no God. He said, there, there's no way there's a God. I said, what are you talking about, Chris? And he said, there is no way for a God to let go on with other human beings is what I saw over there. And he was serious. And when he was talking to me then, when we first started, he was up like this in the chair. He was, he was in a fetal position in that, in my truck seat, with his knees up to his chest and just hugging himself like that And when he was telling me about all that. He was taking hydrocodone for a hip injury. Jeff says Chris became addicted. You know, he was taking these things 12 at a time. Jeff says they tried treatment programs and everything they knew to help. He says Chris would improve, then get worse. He was stealing from me. He stole some of my guns and went and pawned those. They found a program they thought would help. It was a year-long Christian program. He said, Dad, I just don't know about this Christian stuff, you know. They're going to be forcing God on me and all that stuff, and I don't want to hear it. And I'm like, Chris, I'm sorry. And I, what, what can we do? Jeff left for work and told his son he loved him. Chris's mother came home to take him to that new treatment program. And my wife came home. Um, she found him. Chris McDonald had shot himself. And I saw the police cars, and I knew exactly what it was. Jeff says he had to be strong for his family. He didn't really cry for months, but one day he found a book from the funeral service. There were over 200-something comments about Chris. Guys I didn't even know. There, you know, there were people from all over the place. You know, I knew your son. He saved my life in Iraq. Jeff says he cried that day, and he's cried many days since. And I'm going to tell you what, I, I broke down and I cried like a baby. Jeff and his family lost Chris three years ago. Jeff now does a lot of public speaking telling this story. He says telling this story helps him cope with losing Chris. He says he also wants to help other families, other veterans. Jeff says he doesn't want to have anyone go through what his family has been through. If you have a friend or loved one who is a veteran and is struggling after a deployment, there are resources in this story on our website, newschannel9.com. All right, thank you.